All right, hey guys, Chris here, the RC Geek. Out of the field, uh, today we're talking about the E-Flight Spitfire. This is a Mark 14. Uh, this is a kit that's actually been out for a, a while now. It's a, a few years. Uh, and, you know, it's just as good now as it was when it first came out. Uh, it's a fantastic looking airplane. Uh, I like the five blade prop on this thing with the Mark 14. I, I'm glad that they went that direction with it. Uh, paint job looks fantastic, um, and so, and I can tell you it flies beautifully. It's such a great flying Spitfire. So in terms of the assembly, I actually had a little bit of help on this one. A friend of mine was over at my house, and his son really wanted to do some building. So he and his son ended up assembling this together, uh, and so super simple. He had a great time doing it. Uh, he really liked the airplane. So he ended up taking it out the next day. We made it, and he ended up getting to fly it, so it was really cool. In terms of the features, one of the things that I really like is that they, they did the scale split flaps here on the underside. They used thin plastic uh, for the flap, so it's, it's all nice and scale, uh, which I thought was great. Uh, and also, you got the five-bladed prop on there, uh, which I'm always a fan of. Multi-bladed props, I'm a sucker for them every time. So in terms of the controls, so I've got about 100% on the ailerons, uh, about 20% expo there. Elevator is at 85%, uh, and i got about 5% expo there. Uh, and you can see, guys, the um, I have the control throws listed on the video, and also I've got a, an article on my blog, theartsgeek.com. You can download uh, my spectrum file. I've got all the full information there, CG, uh, all of that. Now, in terms of the battery, so they, they call for a 3S2200. Well, I can tell you, I could not CG the airplane with that battery. So I had a four cell 3600 pack. Uh, so I ended up sticking that in, shoving it all the way forward, and the CG was perfect. So um, running four cells, the airplane flies great there. I could get insane flight times with it because it just cruises around at half throttle beautifully, and at full throttle, it's got tons of speed. So, uh, and unlimited vertical. Now, in terms of flying, guys, it's a Spitfire. Spitfires fly fantastic. Uh, and so, um, you know, you got the elliptical wing. It just looks good. It flies really sweet, really responsive. It flies like a warbird should. Uh, so let's go give you guys a flight on the airplane, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll wrap it up. Wind's picking up a little bit, so that should be fun. Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> I got the AS3 autopilot, so AS3X. Shouldn't be a problem. I just hit the button and it goes. That's how that works, right? Mm, yeah. The gains, you just bump the gains and, you know, it flies itself. How's the ground handling with that narrow gear? Ah, uh, that's a good question. <laughs> ground handling is good enough. Uh, the rudder could use a little bit more rudder throw, but as long as you keep it going straight, it's fine. If you're in a crosswind uh, and you catch a wing, like it's got stiff gear, so it'll kind of hop on you if you don't grease it. Uh, and also, it's got a real nice narrow gear track, so scraping wing tips should be expected. <laughs> uh, I mean, I've never done it, obviously.
happened. <laughs> this thing flies really sweet. Once you sort out the knife edge, it'll do it. And you gotta have some speed and you gotta have enough rudder throw. I had almost full rudder to hold the knife edge. Jolly good flight. <laughs> I'm in character, man. It's a oh, that's right. Oh, British that's right. aircraft. Come on, man. Battle Britain. <laughs> fip fip cheerio. <laughs> did I did I did I ruin it? Yeah, you can. That's yeah, right. I can't. That's not that's not my that's accent. That's not your superpower, man. It's okay. No, I can do voices, but not that one. Yeah, you can do geek, but you can't do British. <laughs> do geek. <laughs> All right, guys. There we have the E Flight uh, Mark 14 Spitfire. Fantastic flying airplane, guys. Uh, it's just really uh, forgiving flying warbird with the four cells in there. It's got great vertical cruises around at half throttle. I've got 3,600 milliamps in there, and my timer is set at five minutes. Uh, but I could go much, much longer because we're not stressing the batteries at all in there. So, uh, one of the things to mention is when you're landing with the flaps down, uh, the airplane, it's best you want to keep a little power all the way down to the landing. Uh, just for best success if you chop the throttle right before it'll most likely sink on you uh, It's a little windy, so I'm still feeling that a little bit, but uh, anyways Great flying airplane guys the e-fly Spitfire mark 14 um, Looks good flies good. That's it guys. Thanks so much for watching uh, Don't forget to follow along on social media at the RC geek uh, and also subscribe and I've got a full article on my blog, thercgeek.com, on this airplane and many, many more uh, that includes all my control throw information, all my CG information, uh, as well as my Spectrum file you can download from there. So that's it, guys. Thanks so much. And until next time, I'll see you at the field. All right, what airplane are you holding? Um, a Spitfire. And did you put it together? Uh-huh. Was it pretty easy? Yeah. Would you recommend it? Uh -huh. Easy to do? Uh huh. Are you gonna fly it? Maybe. Maybe? Maybe.